and welcome back to another video! My name is Priscilla and I upload makeup related content on my channel. If you're new, welcome! I do hope you consider subscribing to this wonderful channel. And if you're coming back, welcome back! In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and use the makeup that I purchased in my recent Ulta haul. I'll go ahead and link that video in the description box below. In case you were curious and wanted some swatches, I did include that. I wanted to play with the makeup that I purchased. I have tried two of the items already, but I haven't used the other one. So I wanted to go ahead and play with them and thought, hey, why not bring you guys along with me? So if you guys are ready to play with some makeup, then Let's get into it. The first thing that I have from that purchase is the Essence All About Blur. So it's supposed to erase fine lines and pores. Needs a primer, so let's see. I feel like it has a smell. So it's white. It does have a slight smell. But it says optically reduces fine lines and pores for an even skin for perfect makeup results. Um, I think it, it did a little bit right here, but it does have a smell. It smells like it, I don't, it's like a sweet scent, but also like the school glue. Do you guys know the Elmer's or something like that? It kind of has like a mix of both, like a sweet and glue kind of smell, so... Another one of the items I picked up was the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment, the blue one. I have the yellow one too, so what I did is I mixed both of them and made this like green color, like an olive color. <laughs> and the reason I did that is so that I can now put this into my foundation. So the foundation is just a little too yellow. Uh, this actually helps for me anyway it does so. The other item I picked up was this from Juvia's Place which is, I threw away the packaging but I think it's the blush lighters. I think that's what they're ca called. I mean it's supposed to be like blush and a highlighter mixed into one. And I have the shade Soft Tulip Glow so it does have like a gold uh, shimmer to it. I have used this and I do quite enjoy it. I'm going to put one dot for now. As you guys can see, it is quite pigmented. So one dot is good. Kind of reminds me of like the Rare Beauty pigmentation of the blushes. So a little goes a long way. And it has a nice just glow. Putting another dot. And you guys can see the difference. This side and this side. I feel like I need just a little bit more on this side. I feel like it's a bit more. It blends really nice. I like that. So here's the blush. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the face. And then I have the eyeshadow palette, an eyeliner, and a setting spray next. The next products that I picked up was the Juvia's Place the coffee shop palette and I also got a LA Girl Shockwave metallic eyeliner so I'm gonna go ahead and pair these up which works very well right <laughs> uh oh look probably gonna use this shade right there boom let's go ahead and play with this palette I'm so excited so I do want to use this shade because this one will go with the eyeliner um, so let's see, to get this one started, the shades don't have names, but I'll show you guys which one, of course. So I'm first going to go in with this shade here and put that in my crease. This is a nice shade to help get the blending going. Very nice. Next, I'm going to take this shade right here, and I'm going to put that in the crease as well, and then bring it to the outer corner. And then I'm going to go in with the same brush. They're nicely pigmented and they have been blending nicely. I'm going to take this shade here and put that in my crease too. I am going to need to deepen it up a bit so that it kind of goes better with this shade. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to bring it to the outer corner as well. 
these shades are blending very nicely. Now I'm going to take this shade here and put this shade on the lid. I like to always use my finger when it comes to like shimmer shades, satin shades, personally, but um, we'll see how, how it goes. I'm going to take a brush with this shade here just because I do see a little bit of gaps here. And then next, I think I'm going to go in with this shade here on my lower lash line. I feel like it might be a little deep, but uh, we're just going to go with it. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and take this shade. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, fallout from the shimmer copper shade. I don't know how I like that. Probably gonna need to try wetting my brush next time or a glitter glue. And then lastly, well, probably not lastly. You see this shade here? I'm gonna take the cream or like the very light shade here. Put that here on the brow bone. I feel like it helps clean up the, like, the blended shadows a little bit. You guys hear my stomach? <laughs> I need to eat. And then, I'm going to take this in the inner corner to help brighten that up just a bit. You don't always need a shimmer shade in the inner corner. It's, of course, your preference, but a shade like that will do the same if you wanted it to as well there is this shade here looks like that um which will i feel like it's going to be a good shade to put in your brow bone and to brighten the inner corner but i think i like it like that yeah so eyeshadow palette done eyeliner so let's put this on or is it okay. i'm going in with the la girl shockwave metallic eyeliner in penny Look at how it makes like the bottom look like bright. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put on the finishing touches like my mascara and my lipstick and then I'm gonna go in with the setting spray. Okay you guys so lastly we have the Juvia's Place Ready Set Sealed Setting Spray. I totally forgot to put this on before I do my mascara because um... Sometimes my mascara will like transfer, so hopefully it doesn't do that. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Good. I'm going to put some on my sponge. And then kind of wrap in the product. And here you guys have the final look using the items that I just recently purchased at Ulta. I am going to go ahead and list everything that I am wearing in the description box below. And here you guys have the final look using some of those items that I purchased at Ulta. Most of those items that I purchased at Ulta, I did call customer service for the Broken LA Girl palette and they did send me a link that it was already shipped out again. They went ahead and put a replacement for me. So I am waiting for that. I'm hoping that it does not come back broken. And then the other one that is broken, just taking it to Ulta, the store itself, and returning it that way. And customer service was really good. They were really fast and very helpful. And right away, they put in the replacement. So two thumbs up for Ulta's customer service via the telephone that I've had. So that was nice. So let's go ahead and get into the products. So the primer, the Essence Even Skin Balm Primer, that's what I'm going with. The smell, it does have like this artificial blueberry mixed with Elmer's glue smell to it. I'm not sure exactly how that's how I can describe it. After I applied this, I did stop filming for a bit to go with the baby for a bit. And while I was with the baby, I can still smell it like on my face. I can still smell it on my hands. So if you are sensitive to smell, things like that, then you're not going to like it. It doesn't bother me. It actually kind of smells good to me personally. The only thing I did notice was, well, 
one of the things I noticed is right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it does look quite dry and yeah, like flaky. And I feel like that was the primer because I did wear this same foundation yesterday with a different primer and it didn't do that. I'm gonna have to keep playing with it and I didn't notice a big change in erasing like my fine lines and the pores. I didn't honestly and it says it's four. Four out of five confirm immediate smoothing effect. I don't know where they got that but we're just gonna have to keep trying it but my first impressions is eh. I like the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer better. The other thing I have here is the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. The blue one. I have the blue, yellow, and white one now. I highly recommend them if you're someone who has trouble finding your like exact match or even something close to your skin tone at the drugstore. You might find one that's like, oh, it's very close color, but maybe the undertone is off these help with that as well so if you're someone like me who has trouble picking out foundations at the drugstore this kind of helps like if i like the formula just the shade is off then the, i can just use this instead of having to return it because maybe it's just like a little bit off you know if it's like a complete color is off and the foundation just doesn't work for you then yeah return it the other product i have is from juvia's place it's the blush lighters if it's a different name, I'll leave it like right here somewhere so you guys can see that. And I have the shade in Soft Tulip Glow. I actually do like this shade. It's an everyday shade. It does look like it did tone down a bit, but I did go over with a little bit of powder. It's kind of like a habit. I don't know. It's one of my habits. I feel like you can also build this up to be a bit more intense if you want it that way. I like it like this, like an everyday blush with the glow to it. Very nice, I'm glad I picked that up. And then, the LA Girl Shockwave Metallic Eyeliner. I like it, I thought I would anyway because I do like LA Girl's Shockwave Eyeliners. And then, the Juvia's Place, the Coffee Shop Palette. To be honest, I had a lot more excitement for it. It performed well. The the matte shades did blend nicely and the shimmer shade it's a nice shimmer shade the thing i feel like it's uh i don't know if it's i think it's the primer because yesterday my eyeshadow was a different eyeshadow and it came off but i think it's that primer i don't know I'm telling you guys i used this one and it's like really Sometimes it feels thick and sometimes it's very liquidy. It's it's so weird. So yeah, this is the one I have and yesterday I did the same thing in my eyeshadow. It um, creased and everything. I'm like, what? I don't know what's going on. But yeah, uh, so I feel like I might need to wet the brush and kind of apply them or maybe a glitter glue uh, to see how that goes. But the mattes, so far so good. But it seems like it's going to be a nice palette to get different brown shades. I just have to play with it some more and try different techniques for the shimmer shades to see if it's the shade, the shadows themselves or you just have to go in a different way so that they last longer. So we will see. But yeah, it's not bad. I just had a lot more, you know when you buy something you're so excited for and then when you try you're like, oh, okay. So that's kind of how I feel. And then lastly, the Juvia's Place Ready Set Sealed Setting Spray Packaging. Two thumbs up. The smell is not that bad. It's not as strong as the Essence Primer one. And it doesn't linger, but there is a smell just in case you're sensitive to smells. And I like that it took away the powder look to the face. So it's not like a matte setting spray. It does, for my skin, have a bit of a glow. I did set the T-zone with powder and I pressed it in. And it doesn't look like it did when I did that. So in case you are curious, it does help take that away. How long it's going to last, I'm not sure. First impressions on it. But so far, I like it. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it two big thumbs up. And if you haven't, I do hope you consider subscribing to this wonderful channel. I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye, everyone.